My name's Tracy and I've been with the Fabulous Chocolates community for 15 years now. Coming to chocolates every day is just a relief. It's like my home from home, home away from home. Um, the atmosphere is amazing, the support is fantastic, the parents are awesome and the children are just so beautiful. My first interview with chocolates, I was amazed by the size of the backyard and also I was put on trial with another girl so I had to work really hard to impress the first management. My first day was amazing. I come across this little girl, sweet little girl, and I asked her if I could tie her shoes like up, and she screamed at me, you are not my mother. <laughs> <laughs> so chocolates today, uh, we've seen an increase in um, the community growing, uh, lots more children, um, expansions of the property, we've got a new kinder room, we've got a brand new car park, uh, lots more, native plants in the garden rather than big trees. So one famous moment, um, I was attending one of the parents' weddings and I turned up in my gardening clothes because I was to be unseen and unheard of and the wedding just wasn't going ahead and all of a sudden I kept hearing my name in the background, Trace, 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 and I thought, I don't know anyone at the wedding so why am I going to be involved? Next minute I had to go through this group of people to the mother because the little child, Summer, wouldn't uh, attend the wedding unless I gave her a cuddle first. So when I first started at Chocolates, I was a single parent of two, a 17 year old, 17 year old girl and an 11 year old son. But it, it was also very handy to know that um, they were welcome to the centre after school as well. So they didn't have to go home and be by themselves, they could come up here. Um, also, a lot of the children at the time thought that I lived here as well, that this was my house, which was nice to know, so they would come to Trace's house. Um, now, 15 years later, I'm a grandmother of two, and uh, the children in the centre referred to me as Nana Tracy. So, I just there was um, a moment where I went to John's work party, and they all talked about their own work and stuff like that, and I was the, the minor, and they said, oh, sorry, we never asked you about your job. And with the biggest smile on my face, I said, I love my job. And they all went, nobody could love their job. That is crazy. And John said, she does. She just loves her job. Oh, there was another funny moment where uh, I was put on bin duty because Anne lived too far away to come up over the Christmas break and put the bins out. So I said to Sue, because she was on holidays, I'll come up and do the bins. I'm close to. So I picked up the bin. In the lid was another big huntsman. So I thought about towing the bin behind my car down to the front so I didn't have to touch the bin. With that, the cook next door, when the place was um, opened, uh, he politely come over and took the bin out for me and I was so proud that I got these bins out. And then on the Monday when we come back to work, I said to Sue, look, I got the bins out. She goes, yeah, but you took the wrong ones. I sweated for about half an hour out there thinking, I want to get these bins out. The nappy bin of all sorts. It had to be the nappy bin. Say 15 years later, I'm still happy to come to chocolates.